Hey guys, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews and uh, Tree Life Tree Service 584 Tree. Uh, I just got a box in the mail today, and you guys probably know what this is. It is from Vistaprint. I've been ordering uh, most of my business cards and basically any of my paperwork from Vistaprint. I've been using them for over 15 years, and I just got in my new business cards. and. These might look like regular business cards, but they're not. These are the plastic, and I always go for the thick ones. These are basically the exact size and shape as a credit card. So they fit nicely in the wallet. Um, they're very durable. Um, they last forever. Um, even if you put them in the washer, dryer, leave them out in the hot sun, um, they may lose their shape, but you can just basically put them in hot water and put something heavy on it and they pop right back into shape. I made another video about this, but it got cut off. So if you see a duplicate of this, you'll know why. Um, I just wanted to be briefly talk about um, <clears throat> how I market and this, this works in multiple businesses, but uh, I just use it for basically my tree work and my YouTube channel. Um, also too, I put the QR codes on the front and back and if you do put a QR code on your business cards, make sure you have a white background because um, last time I tried this and I got the business cards and I tried to scan them and they wouldn't work because it didn't have a clean background. So that's why you see on the back here, I actually whited it out and put the QR code in the middle of the white square because <clears throat> uh, basically it wouldn't scan correctly every time. So. If you are putting QR codes on your business cards, do it like that. Put a white outline square box first. If not, um, if you have a white background, usually it works, but try to scan it first. Uh, maybe just order a few cards and uh, try it uh, before you order a bunch so you won't waste your money. Also too, I wanted to talk about um, like referrals and also too, uh, thank you cards. A lot of times <clears throat> you'll get uh, referrals um, and a lot of it comes from just being uh, good with people, uh, doing good work, but also two reminder cards. Every time um, I have some tree work done, I always take a picture with a customer. Um, I always get a customer testimonial almost every single time. It's very important. That's why it's good to be on every job site. You know exactly how the customer feels. Um, also too, the customer is usually excited once the job's done, it's fresh in their mind. They know exactly what you've done. They've been watching you all day or for a couple days and they know that you take care of what you do. That is the perfect time to get a customer testimonial. If you wait a couple days or sometimes you can't even catch up with them because people are busy. So. Uh, a good time to do it is when you're finishing up the contract, you're walking the job site and you know it's fresh in your mind. They realize uh, all the hard work it took to get the job done completely. And usually the customers, uh, when you walk around the job site and you show them you did every single thing and you went above and beyond to make them happy, they usually are basically not hesitant at all uh, to give you, and that's when they're gonna give you the best review. And also too, you just remind them, you, you don't have to, because some, some people are reluctant to be in front of the camera, just remind them, hey, you know, I can delete this video, uh, we can do, do it again, I can show you before I air it, or I can just put it in a specific place. If you don't want everybody to see it, I'll just use it, um, you know, basically for other customers. So just find out, um, you know, why they're reluctant to make a video. And sometimes too, uh, they don't want to be on film so basically what you can do is have them speak and just show a picture or a uh, video of the work that you did. That way they don't have to be on camera, but you still get the customer testimonial. If they don't want to do that, you can also uh, give them, um, they also want, they might want to do it on their own. So they can take, you know, give them your website or give them your YouTube channel or give them your email address or having them basically send you the video. They might want to make it themselves or, at least they can, uh, you can send them to a website or have them Google your uh, listing and have them give you a, a five-star review or a good review. 
So you want to get something off every job because um, when people are looking for uh, a tree service or they're looking for any type of business, nine times out of ten they're going to go they're going to Google it, uh, they're going to go to Yelp, they're going to go to one of the search engines, and they're going to basically look up a couple reviews, at least a couple um, reviews on your company and what other customers have said. So the more listings you have, the more YouTube videos you have, the better chance uh, you have of them finding it and hopefully giving you, uh, seeing you at work and other customers approving of what you do. So another thing I highly recommend is thank you cards. Every time I do a job, I take the proposal back to the office and I write on the top, paid in full, credit card, cash, however they paid. Uh, make sure that we know that they completely paid, there's a zero balance, um, and then we send them a thank you card. And I send them a personalized thank you card. Um, let me see if I can grab one real quick, show you what it looks like. <laughs> Anyway, I don't have any, I don't have any right here, but it's everything, all my uh, stock looks the same. Everything has a picture of me and my daughter on it. And uh, basically it just reiterates, like everything I have has a picture of Tree Life Tree Service like that. That's the front cover. In the middle has a picture of me and my daughter holding the chainsaw. And, <clears throat> It's important if you have a small business to let people know, hey, we are a small business. Um, we work in your local area. We live in the local area and we also smart, support small business. And your referrals um, basically help small business and they help the local economy. So basically when they use you, they're helping themselves. They're helping basically boost the local economy and uh, build, build up the neighborhood. Uh, it's more cohesive if you use local businesses and whenever you spend money and use small businesses that money gets basically recirculated locally and it really helps the economy and when people realize that they have a tendency to try to use other small businesses especially if you do also too when you're um, I don't know if you ever got a thank you card in the mail from these big corporations or Comcast or whoever it's just basically uh, a computer just says thank you and you know we appreciate your business and it's very generic it's just like you know you can tell that a computer just spit these millions of these out and they mailed them to you and it's uh, you know it's it's not very personal um, you don't really want to if you can you want to hand write the letters uh, you want to hand write the envelopes it makes a huge difference. Um, I know a company a couple years ago started taking the computer and have them actually cursive the address and almost made it look like handwriting. And I actually started opening them. Of course, in the inside, it was kind of like generic and you could tell that, you know, computer generated. But if you can, I mean, you figure you're a tree service, you do maybe what, at the most two or three jobs a day. Maybe if you're a big company, you do like eight or 10 jobs a day. How long is it gonna take uh, for you or someone on your staff, your secretary, to hand write a couple thank you cards? It's well worth it, because when people see that you take the time to hand write them a personal note, it, make, it, make, it brings it to the heart. And uh, I actually try to write my own, because what happens is you can remember the job. You can remember the people and when you write it, you can put a personal note in there and you can let them know that it was you that wrote it. And you know, you might not have very good penmanship, but people don't care, they want that personal touch. So I highly recommend, especially when you're first starting out, to hand write all your thank you cards and make them as personal as possible because everyone's sending out stuff, it's so generic and people just toss it. And a lot of times too, I'll, I'll send them a good thing too. You can send them a discount card for their friends. And also too, on bigger jobs, I'll actually send them a coupon to a local business like Grumpy's or like if you guys have a small personal restaurant in the neighborhood, 
that everybody enjoys eating at, or even like a Cracker Barrel. Give them a give them a little, even if it's like 20 bucks or something, 25 bucks, a gift certificate to where two people, you know, because a lot of my customers are, you know, retired, you know, they're uh, an older couple and they like just going out to eat. You know, that's one of the only things they do. And, you know, they love going to Cracker Barrel. They love going to Grumpy's. They love going to, you know, like little uh, eateries. And if you can get a small eatery, or it might be something they've always wanted to try but never have, but this to initiate that contact and also get a rapport with the, uh, you know, wherever you buy your um, gift certificates at. Like I had to deal with Grumpy's. They'd give me like 20% off. So I'd buy like, you know, 500 or a thousand uh, gift certificates or I would even um, do like a trade-off like I would do tree work for grumpies or I would go to their house and uh, work on their trees in person and they would give me half gift certificates and half cash or half check and you can take those business car or those gift certificates and you know give them in like 20 to 25 dollar increments and give those to your uh, clients that um, live in the area and would enjoy that uh, that gift certificate. So there's all different ways to basically promote your business and that is a really good one. And I've had a lot of people tell me that they appreciate, you know, the uh, gift certificates, they appreciate, you know, the handwritten notes. And I had another customer and another uh, a guy that worked on my equipment and he's like listen he told me this about 10 years ago he said there's a company a tree service that doesn't advertise and basically all they do is they send thank you cards out handwritten thank you cards for every job they do and they have never needed to advertise so that shows you right there that it works and it's a great way if you don't have a lot of money for advertising how, how, how much does it take to just sit there and write. I mean, if you're not busy and you're first starting your business, you got plenty of time to make a personal note and write a personal thank you card to your customers. So if you don't, you're in the wrong business. <laughs> anyway, that's just a, <clears throat> a few things that I want to share with you guys. Um, <clears throat> buy the most expensive business cards that you can afford because these business cards are going to last a long time. And I've had customers 10, 15 years keep my business card. And if you have a business business card that falls apart or runs or it looks cheap, they're going to throw it away. If you have something like this that lasts forever, they have it, they wet it or put it in a washer and they come and it comes out perfect. They're going to keep it. They're going to at least throw it in the in the junk drawer or they're going to put it on the refrigerator. Um, another thing I like to do is get magnets. If you put it on the refrigerator or you put it on uh, like an electrical appliance or if they throw it on their uh, electrical panel, it's an excellent way, especially if you're an AC contractor or um, HVAC and you can, or electrician, and you put that magnet on the panel. I've, I've seen these 50 year old magnets on panels and they're still there. You know, four or five people have bought the house and guess what? They look at the panel, they look at their air conditioner, and a lot of times they'll call that number because it's been there for so long and the people that used to be there used them. So they know that AC unit, they know how their panel works, they're familiar with it. So um, yes, magnets, I highly recommend. Also too, when you're passing them out, you can stick them in the garage door, mailbox, whatever. Um, a lot of times too, they have metal doors or uh, metal garage doors. And like, if you miss somebody, you can stick it right to it. But if not, at least use a plastic card that lasts a long time and send out thank you letters, thank you cards, thanking customers for their business. Anyway, this is running on. Um, go to vistaprint.com. Uh, I don't have a link right now, but uh, possibly later on they'll give you discounts for using the link when I get one. But check them out. A lot of times new customers get 10 or 20% off. Uh, sign up for their email. A lot of times they'll send me 25, 30, 40 percent off on the whole entire website. Um, just a great way to uh, you can design your own business cards like I did. Just take a personal picture and um, put some numbers on it and you can make it exactly how you want. Um, make it different from everyone else's. So 
If you like this video, please crush the like button and subscribe. We also have a Patreon page if you want to support the channel. And most of all, thanks for watching and have a great day and good luck with your business.